all our viewers. Thank you so much for always uh, being here. In particular, it is a special day because I've got to see something so special on the waters of Lake Victoria. I've got a friend here. I'm so glad to see you. So, my name is Erwan Simon. I'm coming from France. I'm used to travel all over the world in search of new ways. I kind of explore the world in search of new ways. So I discovered many waves in Sierra Leone, in Mauritania, in uh, Gabon, in Ghana, and many other places in Asia as well. And um, I decided to come here in Uganda because I checked on the map. I saw this big lake, the Victoria Lake. And this big lake is, uh, in my mind, a place where possibly that we can find waves. This is where I came here. I did bring my surfboard, so this is why I'm here. When I checked uh, the Victoria Lake on the map, I was trying to find out which place can have waves. So first of all, you have to check the distance. Um, the Victoria Lake is the second largest lake in the world. And the longest distance is 350 kilometers. So that means with the wind, it can, it can create some swell. We call it wind swell. And the wind is coming from the south, from Tanzania. So I checked on the map where the wind is going, the wind swell, and it's going up the lake just to the Tsetse Islands. So I thought this is where I have to go. Okay. Then I started to do some research on the internet, in books, and nobody surfed here. So that there's nothing to, to collect information. So I thought, let's go. Um, we need a, a first person to go there, right? So, so I decided to come to Uganda and to try to surf these waves and also to meet people and to experience the Tsetse Islands because the um, landscapes, the, the atmosphere, the wildlife is very interesting. And also, there's something really special about here. It's a lake, but I'm surprised that actually it's a bit like being at the sea. Okay. Because at night you hear the waves, you see the birds fishing like in the sea. Fishermen, they go at sea like they, I mean, they go at, at the lake, like they go at sea. So it's, it's really interesting to see that in a lake, you can have the feeling of being in the ocean. Maybe the waves are a little bit better at Pelican Beach. Uh, it's facing south at the tip of, uh, of the Bugala Island. And it's nice because they have like big trees, shadow, the landscape's pretty nice, and the waves are really fun. And, but here, the landscape is different. It's more open. And you have a look also on the jungle, and there's a village with the people that are right on the beach, okay. and the sand. I mean, this is a, you can see that, like really nice uh, sandy beaches. And I'm surprised. I, I really feel like uh, in the sea, in the ocean. So it's, it's really similar. Oh, sure. Being that it is your first time to visit Uganda, in particular, you chose to come to Sess Islands. Should we expect something behind your visit? Like maybe starting up the project of surfing at Sess Islands? Well, it's, it's difficult to predict the future, right? So, but I'm used to to write articles for surfing magazines. Um, I'm also writing books about surfing. And um, I'm sure that some people will try to come here because we never, nobody knew before that it was possible to surf here, right? So I think that some group of surfers will come here to try to surf in the lake and also to visit the Tsetse Islands because it's a nice experience. And I think you will see more surfers coming in the future. I've been seeing so many documentaries about surfing but uh, I personally had never met someone physically who is doing surfing. And this has been my first time. So it's a pleasure meeting you. Maybe I'll give it a try. Oh yes, you should have a try, of course. Uh, the thing is, um, you have different kind of surfboards. You have a smaller one, bigger one. And this kind of surfboard is more like for small waves. Okay. And of course, in Uganda, you don't have big waves like in Hawaii or the biggest wave in the world. But you have fun waves. So this is what we call a fun board, a Malibu, and it's, it's, it's made for, for small waves and to have fun, to be easy, and for beginners also. Okay. So you have different kind of, of boards, but this is the perfect fit for Uganda, I think. Okay. What makes for you Ses Islands unique or what makes it best for you for, for the time you stayed around the place? Well. I will remember the Tsetse Islands forever because I came here with my surfboard. I was not sure to find waves. Finally, I find fun waves. So first of all, 
I'm surprised to see that the lake can look like the ocean. And also because uh, there's like a nice jungle, wildlife. You can be on the beach and you have monkeys around and there are a lot of birds. Birds are everywhere. Even when you are surfing, they are just next to you. So the landscapes are really special and the people are really friendly. So all these things together makes the Tsetse Islands really different. Okay. Any challenges uh, first while visiting Uganda? Uh. Well, uh, I think that was pretty easy, in fact. Uh, my main challenge was to be right time, right place to find the waves. Because sometimes there's no wind. So if there's no wind, there's no waves. So you have also to be uh, at the beach. So you, you, I don't know where the beach when, when I came here, I didn't know. I was looking on the map, of course. I did some research before. But when you arrive here, then I realized that some beaches have disappeared because of the lake uh, going up. So finally, I found these beaches and um, yeah, I, I managed to be right time, right place. So that was the main challenge. And uh, all the rest was kind of easy because people are easygoing and friendly. You take the boat in NTB, you arrive in Kalangala. The roads are pretty good and it's easy to drive around. And uh, yeah, I've met uh, Mr. Jackson. And uh, it was the perfect guide uh, on these islands. And uh, also you, it's, 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 it's really a pleasure to meet you. So everybody is really friendly. Thank you so much. <laughs> so any final word? Well, I visited only a little piece, a li little piece of Uganda. Uganda has a, a huge variety of landscapes. Can goes from the lake to the jungle, to the safaris in the savannah. You have the big mountains, you have the jungle with the mountains with the gorillas so there's a lot of variety and this is what makes Uganda really different than other places I think. Thank you so much to all our friends and our viewers. Thank you so much for always supporting us. Uh, this is the Travel Space Magazine here to bring for you all the tour and travel information. So thank you. See you next time. Thank you.